Hello everyone, welcome back to Skeledon, Bushcraft and Survival. Glad you could join me. Now today I'm going to be reviewing an older knife, the Mora Bushcraft Black. Now the reason why I chose this one to review is for several reasons, but one specifically. This knife definitely still has a place in the bushcraft world. Now is this, or am I saying this is a bushcraft knife? No. It doesn't meet all the requirements. It doesn't meet all the criteria. However, what I am saying is that this knife is definitely an awesome choice for a beginner trying to get his feet wet, you know, learning bushcraft skills and things like that, different knife skills, or a seasoned outdoorsman just looking for a secondary or, you know, slash backup knife without breaking the bank. Now, of course, if you're looking for a bushcraft knife, then you'd be looking for a knife that would meet all of the criteria. And of course you would pay whatever it costs respectively because they can get expensive. But if you're looking for a knife that can do most of the required tasks for affordable cost, this is the knife for you. Now, before we get onto the demonstration of this knife, here's the specs. All right, without any further ado, let's get on with the demonstration. Now this knife has a Scandinavian grind. Combined with a blade thickness of an eighth of an inch or 3.2 millimeter, it makes it durable enough to take the place of an ax for small jobs. Like taking down two inch diameter trees for a shelter or making wooden tools. and batoning limb for fire. While being thin enough for performing tasks like feather sticking. notching and food prep. It has an unpolished 90 degree spine that is awesome for scraping thin wood fibers and striking a ferro rod to get a fire going. Speaking of fire, it does have a high carbon steel blade, so in the event where the options are really limited, it can take the place of steel. Flint and chert, along with several other rocks, will throw sparks to get a fire going as well. Because of the way that the blade curves up to the point, it makes carving out a socket for a friction fire quite easy.
Not to mention because of the clip point, it makes field dressing game easy as well. Now this handle is awesome as well. I have a huge appreciation with excitement and surprise for this handle's design. At first glance, it looks like it's only going to be comfortable in one way of holding it. But actually it's not. Using it like in this grip, if you're cutting this direction, now this is a knife method. If you've got a stick, rest it up against your chest and you come this direction, as you see, I can't go any further back than this, right? It feels comfortable in the hand. If I were to hold it like this and use my shoulders, it's comfortable in that position. Also, scooping like this right here, it's comfortable in that position as well. So in all of the different methods of holding a knife, the handle actually fits right in there. And with a non-slip uh, uh, coating on there, yeah, this is quite impressive. It's all around a solid build. Now this knife does not have a full tank. And therefore it is limited on what you can do while you're doing quote unquote bushcraft tasks. But overall, I only have one complaint about this knife. And that is, I had to sharpen it out of the box. Now I have personally a conflicting opinion about that. On one hand, I have an appreciation for that. Now I've discussed that in an earlier video on how I feel about with a beginner, you know, what they should start off with, what knife, steel that they choose and so on and so forth, because there's certain maintenances that need to be learned about the knife. Just like in the military, you learn about your rifle before you ever get your rifle. You learn how to break it down, clean it, and take care of it, the entire maintenance, before you get out and shoot it. And with Bushcraft, getting a knife, I feel that it really is necessary to learn about your knife, how to maintain your knife, how to take care of the upkeep, and so on and so forth about your knife before you actually go out and start learning the skills, the knife skills that come along with the knife. Now that is on one hand, like I said, on the other hand, I personally feel that a knife should come right out of the box, razor sharp. I mean, uh, a seasoned outdoorsman has no problem sharpening up a knife, but when he buys a knife or she buys a knife, she wants to be able to take that right out of the box and go out in the woods and use it. And uh, yeah, it's not really that big of an inconvenience to sharpen up the knife but I would request for Mora to start sharpening these razor sharp before they send them out. But like I said, I have conflicting opinions about that. There is an upside about learning how to maintain, sharpen, that is one of the skills that needed to be learned with a knife, and uh, you know, before you ever use the knife. So this is a really good starter knife, but I, I think that it, it might be a better idea if this knife is sharp out of the box. This knife is, you know, if you're going to have it needing a sharpening before it, you know, you can actually use it. But overall, that is the only complaint and the rest of it, I love this knife. This is an amazing secondary backup knife or a beginner knife. I personally feel that anybody that knowing ahead of time before they purchase the knife that they're going to have to sharpen this knife out of the box and are willing to do so, I know for a fact that they are going to absolutely love this knife as well. All right, the last thing that I want to bring up is the sheath itself. Now on this specific design, it doesn't have the knife sharpener and it doesn't have the ferro rod. Now I myself like it this way. I don't like a lot of big bulky stuff on the sheath. I like the knife to be able to sit nice and close to me, uh, not get caught up on any debris or brush or anything like that, briars along the way, uh, tree limbs, it happens. Um, I don't really want to uh, deal with that. So having it like that is perfect for me. It has two different ways of carrying it. And uh, yeah, this would be my choice overall, but there is a model out there that does have the uh, knife sharpener and the ferro rod, if that is something that you're looking for. So, 
There it is. There's my review on the Mora Bushcraft Black. One last thing that I do want to bring up before I go. I want to tag Little Fit Devil. I'll leave a link in the description to her channel. She has a knife review channel. She has an awesome channel. I absolutely love what she does. And uh, this is a knife review. So I'm just sending out a friendly tag if she'll accept on the Mora Bushcraft Black. Let's see what she thinks of it. I absolutely love this knife and I appreciate you coming along with me. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this type of video, please like, share, and subscribe. I have many more coming up in the future. Until then, take care. And remember, nature, it does provide.